スーパーロボ体制オージーダークプレイザー It's Boyce Apkin and Zyra Watts Welcome back to Super Robot Wars OG The Dark Prison Also known as The Misadventures of Shu Shirakawa Previously I think we're still trying to train train that boy Not quite uh, Let's see The Steel of Tiva Oh, weird ass boss rush. Weird ass boss rush. Several copies of a final boss, quote unquote, up here. Weird. Let's go shoot different robots. Look, it's been a while since I played. Alright, Chica begins to explain the bus. <laughs> Chica begins to place like a tour guide on where they are. She talks about Mount Grimmauld and how they excavate, or how conium metals that were used for the Masoki and their various weapons. Zephine also explains that it's used for accessories. Monica mentions that she'd like to give a ring to Shu, which annoys Zephine yet again. Shu explains that he handed the or, or Halconium metal to the SRX plane. Albana asks why he did that. He says that it was a give and take for information technologies to one of the heads of the SRX plan. The lady then speculates that he probably is talking about Ingram Pris Pliskin. She explains that he needed to get the full info that he needed, but was satisfied enough to see that the SRX was useful enough to defend from certain enemies. Albot asks what side of the information it was that he was searching for. But Shu explains that it's a memory that he doesn't quite recall having, which throws Albata for a loop. Chica keeps explaining that they're getting close. Alma mentions that he that they've found they detected a battle nearby. Shu says that it's probably somebody there waiting for them. Albana, on the other hand, thinks that they're getting close to the end of their goals and wonder, er, wonders to Jessica if he'll be able to avenge her. I didn't push the button enough. I got to looking at the background. There we go. There's Elma. Hmm. Oh. Why are y'all back here? Let's do a safety save. Hey, wait a minute. You didn't get a title screen drop. Also, control scheme switch. putting on I've gotten some gamer gloves but they're like anti-sweat kind of things I did it again stinky smooth oh. brain I don't mean to be wasting time like this but I am a bit of a fool Let's go. All right. 
on the map, Luzoral has been waiting for Shu. Interesting. Albana's a bit stunned at the design of Luzoral's machine, thinking it's a Masoki. Safin explains that it is the Judeiki. Yeah, Judeiki called Nagsuart. Nagsu, T S U A R T. Nagsuart? Which half of the unit remains in the astral world, which is immune to normal attacks. Fucking wild. Beyond asks if that means that the only astral world based weapons are acceptable for damaging it. The Fiend says, yeah, but that also takes time to prepare. And Yon asks how, but Safine says, shit's a secret, shut up. Blaine asks about this other machine. Safine explains that it is a Vesoki Gn that is used by the... Uh, not Voodoo, what was the term? Uh, apostle... The Apostles. The Apostates. Albana asks if these are immune to that shit too, which Shu says, no. Zoro then tells Gain to get his GN. He was noticed some battle markings and asked if they had some problems in the underground temple. Zoro explains that he was battling with the Sidebuster and his comrades. I almost said Sidebuster. He says that he unsealed the Vulcra shadows, but were defeated and was able to lose sight of them in the area. However, Luzorla is not happy to see Ahmad. He asks if he doesn't need to be helping Kirkus right now. Ahmad replies that Kirkus is probably dead right now. Luzorla says that eh, that's, that's a pretty good prediction, but also mentions that Steel Dragons are in the middle of battling with Railroad. He then asks Shu to help him unseal the magic that the goddess has cast. Zoro tells Surfers to remain still, don't you move. Shu says that he will keep his promise once everything is done, but tells him that he will that he'll leave the last decision to them. Huh? Once Shu and all the weirdos leave, Selena asks how long they'll have to be waiting. Albana replies that they will wait until the show begins to see what the main lead's intentions are. There it is. Stage 19. Dashin Kaiho. The Evil God's release. On the new map, Shu and Lazaro are beginning preparations. Guy and explain. Oh, you're in a new thing. Ah, I did see that on the flow chart. I said G N J I I E N, but on the flow chart, it is just written out G N, like we're in some kind of Gundam Double O scenario. Interesting. Da, 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 da. What was I reading? All right. Gain explains to Lazarl about Shu not intending to use Monica or Terius as a sacrifice. Zoro confirms this with Shu. He explains that they don't need to be sacrificed so long as they use a specific process using their Masoki. Gain doesn't believe this shit. Shu explains that his intentions are to awaken Volkris. Yes. But Gain asks what his intentions are to wake up Volkris as he is skeptical of seeing how he fought against the Volkris shadows. He replies that he still needed to survive for this ceremony and has and not get killed by some other assassin from the Apostles while that which speculates the heads no I'm letting it go. What 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 what? Come on, Grammar. Shu says he still needs to survive for the ceremony and not get killed by some other assassin from the apostate, which he speculates 
the head knows? I guess the head of the apostate knows, and they're just letting it go. Okay, got it. Zoral confirms all this data and tells Gain to calm the fuck down. He then mentions that the Granzon is Volkus's rope, which is needed, and mentions that it's the proof of Shu's loyalty. Okay. Maybe rope isn't the right word there. Lifeline, maybe? I don't know. All right, Zoral tells Gain that he trusts Shu, and if he continues to accuse Shu, he will consider Gain as betraying Volkris. Oh! Gain proceeds to shut up, finally. Shu tells Monica to head to the altar, to which she does. And Shu begins casting spells. Chu brings out his Wam Smasha and tells Monica to not worry. He has no plans on hurting her. Says that she believes in him. Chu then tells Volkris that they need the energy and emotions of sadness and despair. Hmm. Here we go. Monica, to awaken Volkris Sama. One must feel despair and sadness from betrayal. Huh? Uh, Christoph, you aren't... Do you understand? The feeling of those who trusted you is being crumbled. That moment of despair. I don't mind, Shusama. My life is yours. Well said, Monica. Shu. There's a certain awakening of Volkris. We need a sacrifice. It is time for you to hand her life to our god. G -g -g Christoph! My desires, my fulfillment has come. Back here with Albada and team. The Volkris followers have begun to move, and Selena asks what they're going to do. Albana says that Shu claimed to leave the last decision to them, which she speculates that they have to make the move to see the main event. Albana then says that their souvenir will be an evil god's mask. Jan says that she'll follow, as she was thinking to bring Shu to the surface to complete her own mission. Albana is also in... The enemies tell Albada that they were ordered to kill them. <laughs> Albada says we're not fitting to miss the main evento. Main evento. Fight it out. Do this shit in three turns. All right. It's not powerful, but it, um, it, it doesn't slap, but it's pow- It's powerful, but it doesn't slap. Sit. Sit. Hashim! Hmm. 61, you say? That's not gonna fly. So I have to pull this off in three turns. Brunch with 10k. A casual 6k, though. 
Morale on hit. Alright, now we have your data. You have two moves. Melee and range. Oh, damn. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to accuracy scum everything. Oh! Alright, Elmo! Elmo, whatever. I'll take that. Also... Um... Hmm, one second. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Alright, show me your gun. If you survive. Dynamic kill? Dynamic kill. Oh! Come on, dude. I know I was gonna have to save scum this shit. Oh my god, I did it again. I hit the cancel button though, I swear I did. Hit cancel on yes, and you stop? I don't. Right, I used lock on, I didn't use focus. 
Interesting. That's right. All right, let's. Support attack, right? Oh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Okay. Even with focus, 68%. God damn it. On. Jesus. The switch brains constantly. Yes, continue. Got it. supposed to do this in three turns? How the fuck? Huh. Yeah, fucking how? Stop getting hit! You have the dodge advantage. Okay, yeah, this this run is bad. Percent and you meant 
I gotta start over. Hold on. Back to the beginning. Maybe this... This is better? This is smarter. Who knows? Yo! Albana got graffiti soul. Big crits. Yeah, kind of need that for y'all.
please, please attack me, everybody. What are you doing? Come on, what's with the piddly move? Come on with dodging. Okay, okay, maybe a bad plan. Why did you- what? Why? Okay, hold on. Okay, back here. All right, all right. Fuck that guy. Okay. 
So. Okay. Okay. I think I can make a safety save here. for you. Uh, okay. Enemy turn. You can get killed on counter and I think you can too. So... this. Fuck. Fuck. This is set. So now I need to survive on the enemy turn. No, I'm not going to save yet. But I think Elma might still have one more heal. Maybe this is the better move. Yes. Excellent. Yo, Yon gets hot blood. Crush them. Accuracy goes to shit. Uh, uh, risks. Got it. After defeating all enemies, I'll bottom the others head off to see the climax. So at this point, we are refunded for everything I invested in game. Game is no longer part of team. Why? Well, we'll find out next time. All combat is over. Now that you've tasted victory, I'm sure you'll be back. <laughs>